What's up folks, this is Gray here. Today we're gonna to be looking at the EcoFlow Delta II. This thing is an 1800 watt portable power station. And uh, to be honest with you, it's quite impressive. This thing can surge up to 2700 watts. That means it'll, it'll power 90% of your appliances in your home. So why be left in the dark when you can have something like this? So in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the specifications of the EcoFlow Delta II. Uh, once we do that, we're going to take it to the back bench. We'll get a close-up view of all the ports and any accessories you get with this unit. Third, we'll do some real-world testing. Uh, we'll use something like a deep freezer, hot plate, and possibly a heater. Uh, and then finally, we'll wrap this up video with any pros and cons that we happen to notice in the unit and my final thoughts and a question to you, my viewers. All right, so let's look at some key points with this thing, right? One, it has that 2700-watt surge, which is awesome because some of your things, let's say your freezer, your refrigerator, your AC unit, uh, that initial kick-on of the compressor is going to pull a tremendous, a tremendous amount of power, so you want to have something that has that capability. Um, also, this has an expandable uh, battery where you can get more power, basically more watt-hours. You can add the Delta II battery or the Delta Max battery, uh, which also to me was quite impressive. I wish... The only thing I wish I would say is I wish you could add more and more and more batteries, you know what I mean, to keep it just going, you know what I mean, if you want to build like a whole array or whatnot. But who knows, I know some of their uh, more advanced uh, units they have can do that. Now, one really cool thing about this thing is it has, has extreme charging, which this thing can charge, I think it's uh, 1,200 watts max. So when you plug this into your AC outlet, this thing will charge up to 1,200 watts. That's cutting your charge time down by 75%. Another impressive feature about the Delta II is that it can take a solar input of 500 watts. A lot of the other smaller units or more of the smaller form factor units can only do about 100 max 200. This thing can do 500 watts, uh, which is quite impressive for the solar inputs because the more power you have going into this unit, depending on where you live and how cloudy and sunny it is, the faster you can get this thing charged. Another way you can charge this is through DC charging. Now, this is another quite impressive uh, check mark for the Delta II as it can do 1100 watts uh, via DC charging. Also, the battery chemistry of the Delta II is lithium iron phosphate. A lot of us know that this is probably one of the best technologies currently in the market. Uh, you roughly get about 3000 cycles out of this thing uh, to 80% capacity. Last, before we take this to the bench and get a closer look at this, uh, I also wanted to add that this thing has a five year manufacturer's warranty. That should give you some sort of peace of mind when you're trying to spend your hard earned money on a unit like this. So now for the real meat and potatoes, the unit itself. Again, this is the EcoFlow Delta II, 1800 watt portable power supply. All right, so let's kind of take a look at the front screen here. You're going to see here you have several buttons. You got your power button there. When you turn that power button on, you're going to hold that down. It's going to bring the screen up. It'll beep at you and whatnot. It'll tell you how many hours you got, the percentage of the battery, your input, and your output. Matter of fact, I'm going to start doing this because it's easier to kind of like point things out with the pen. Uh, but you can see there your watts, uh, your your input watts and your output watts. That tells me I'm connected to the Wi-Fi right in there. That's going to be the percentage of battery that's charged and how many hours that going at nothing. Now, you got a couple different ports here. You can go ahead and turn this on. When you put that, you just kind of tap it once. And that's going to activate this whole panel right here. And as you can see, you have two Type-C 100 watt. Uh, charging ports there and then you have a USB-A basically your standard USB-A cable output there and then of course you have your fast charging which is a fast charge 3.0 uh, outputs there you get two of those two of those and two of those um, and this can come in handy if you're trying to re uh, use this to record uh, to charge you know let's say laptops phones small electronics that are either type C or, or USB based uh, if you have like radios and whatnot uh, this will come in very handy for that, for your smaller electronics. Uh, and let's kind of move over to uh, the big thing is where you're going to be plugging in your appliances. Let's go ahead and spin that around. All right, so let me go ahead. And, there's this thing right here. This is going to be pretty much, these are all your inputs right here uh, and your uh, overload protection. So we'll go ahead and pop that up real quick. I'm going to put that in there. And right there, that's going to be for if you're going to plug in your uh, adapter or your solar panels, that's where you're going to plug that in there. So your DC adapter or your solar panels, uh, you can see the 15 watt, 15 amp max there. This is where you're going to plug in your AC cord here. And then, of course, this is your reset button. For some reason, if you have any issues uh, with the unit, you can push this button right here, and that's going to give you a reset. 
Also, here we go with our, we got six AC outlets here. Uh, three, uh, four regular AC outlets, then two other outlets that it can be used for other purposes. Uh, and basically, again, you're just going to push that button right there. That's going to activate this section here. And then same with down here, you have uh, two barrel connector, three amp max uh, for outputs. And then you have a cigarette adapter down here as well. Pop that open for you. It's, it's, I guarantee, see, look, I don't know if you can see that the, the thickness of this uh, grommet here, it definitely seals it very nicely. Uh, it pops in there to keep stuff out of that. Anyway, same premise, push that button, that's going to activate the section here. And uh, like I said, you have a, uh, a DC outlet via either DC or barrel connector or your cigarette adapter to your. So let's go ahead and plug that up. I'm going to spin this around real quick over here to the side so that you guys can see here. This is going to be where your extra battery port is. You can just going to pull that out right here. And that's where you're going to connect your extra batteries. Now an extra Delta II battery or the max battery will connect to it. I'm thinking about myself purchasing the max battery because I want to get it, the most effectiveness out of this unit itself. Uh, but that kind of plugs into the side. And if you notice I have all these things turned on, as you're turning these things on, they will pop up. As you can see right there, oops, let me move that over so you can see that. It says 60 hertz. That tells me my barrel connectors and everything is plugged up accordingly. So everything that plugs up, you have all these different little things. That's why I suggest looking at the manual because there's just like overheat protection, uh, your temperature and stuff like that, your Wi-Fi. There's just so much information on the screen that's not being shown at the moment. Uh, but there's a lot of information that can kind of give you an idea if you're having any issues or wondering what's going on. Uh, these things can kind of give you an inclination of what's happening. All right, folks. So right now, as you can see here, I have this, the unit plugged in. I have the unit plugged in, and then I have the freezer plugged in. And this is all this is telling me recharge time. If you look up there, it just has recharging time because the battery is at 99%. So I'm using them in conjunction together. And uh, kind of take you back here. Just plugged in, very simple to that. Now what we have here, we have a 9 cubic uh, feet deep freezer. Uh, it is empty. You guys will see I got things coming to show you with this thing here and why I bought it to add it to the deep freezer section. So as you can see there, it's eight cubic feet. One thing I do want to show you is this does have an uninterruptible power supply or UPS. So basically, since I have the unit plugged in right now, so it's getting power through the wall. But what happens if you have a power outage and you lose that power outage? So it happens really quick. And it's going to be hard to see, but down here, that's the power on the unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to unplug the Delta Pro, uh, the Delta Pro 2, or sorry, not the Delta Pro, my apologies, the, Del the EcoFlow Delta 2, unplug it from the wall so it's not being charged. As you're going to see, this is still on. We still have power to our cooler. Come over here to the front of the screen. As you can see, the deep freeze is pulling 48 watts. But we're going to do a real test because I'm going to open this thing up. I'm going to let it get warm and see when the compressor kicks on, how much power does that pull. All right, so we've had this thing all open for about a half hour now. And you can come over here with it open with the compressor running, which is a very, very quiet. I'm very impressed with this little guy right here. Uh, but anyways, uh, as you can see here, that's where it's floating around with it wide open. Now, if I close the unit, of course, that's going to make it more efficient when we close this back down. And it's going to start cooling back off. The watts will come back down as the unit starts to cool. But as you can see here, we're about 10 hours uh, if it was just hot. Uh, but it's been split around at 70 to 72 range for quite some time now. I haven't really seen it move from there. And this is just all running off the unit. The unit is not plugged into the AC outlet, as you can see right there. All right, so let's stress this unit a little bit harder. Let's move up to something that has a draw of 1,500 watts and something that you'll need, especially you folks up there dealing with some winter storms. All right, folks. So you can see right now we're drawing nothing. And what I have plugged in is this little little heater right here. Uh, it's an electrical electric heater. I have it set to high. 
and I'm going to turn it on uh, high on here in a second. But I wanted to show you, see if we can see that there, 1500 watts is a draw up to 16 or 15, yeah, 1500 watts to 1650 watts for that kick on. So let's see what happens with the delta, with the delta, the delta two, we're at 97 percent. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make sure that this thing is on max. And we're going to go ahead and turn on the heater to high. There it is at 1671, 1723, 1680. As you can see it's pulling. You can hear that ramp up. You can feel the air coming out of there. Now that it's settled down, it's starting to come around that 1400 watts. It's even dropping a little bit more. But as you can see, it can handle a draw like that. Now if you notice though, 35 minutes with the battery at 95 percent pulling 1377 watts. So from some folks like, well, will that heat me enough? Well that's why having the extra batteries attached to the unit would benefit you because you're going to increase your watt hours tremendously. This is a very small tiny little portable unit. But it's still able to cable able to power this easily. All right, so let's switch it up to something that pulls its max, which is at 1,800 watts. Here we are. The battery is leveling out after that heater test, a little space heater test. We're at 93 percent. Nothing in, nothing out. Everything's good. So what we're going to be using is this hot plate. Why a hot plate? Well, in an emergency, you need to cook. Uh, especially if you want the, the easeability of today's lifestyles and whatnot. This is a dual burner. Um, as you can see, the power is on, but it's not pulling anything with that, just kind of plugged in there. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn on both burners to high. I don't know if you guys can see that there, high and on high. At its max, this thing is going to pull 1,800 watts, which is the max capacity of this unit. But remember, this is supposed to be able to handle beyond the 1800 watts. It could take a surge up to 26, 2700 watts. So here we go. Let's put this test on it. And to me, this is really going to give us an idea of how powerful this thing is. Okay, so that's one burner on, on high. Let's put the other burner on high. Got both burners on high. As you can see there, the lights are on. This thing is kicked up. 1691 is where we're at. Now this hot plate is rated at 1800 watts. Kind of want to keep it on there. I might fast forward through this. But right now we're at 1690. No problems. It looks like it's going to be leveling off right around there somewhere. Again, you have 27 minutes here. You should be able to cook something. Usually it only takes about eight minutes or so to boil water. If you have freeze dried foods or if you're just trying to cook something, it gives you roughly about a half hour if you had a full charge on this, about a half hour to cook some food up and then put this on the solar uh, panels and charge that bad boy back up or plug it in through the AC outlet through your generator. Very efficient. I'm very impressed with this unit. A lot of the units I've tested in the past will just shut right off uh, when you get them close to their max. So far, so good. But we are going to we're going to try to basically make the make the make the power station shut off. I'm going to plug in the heater again and this, and together that's almost 3,000 watts. So with this unit here, it should shut this thing off. We'll see. Here we go. This ought to be fun. I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. Where are we at? Let's go ahead and turn it on high. Actually, let's turn it on low first and see what happens. And there we are. We're at 1700. That's with the heater on low. 
Remember, we're going to try to max this thing out. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heater on to medium now. All right, we're at 1,828. Remember, this thing is rated at 1,800 watts. This thing is rated at 1,800 watts. Still going. We're at 1,000, almost, we hit 1,904. All right, let's move the heater on to high. 2,185, 2,253, 2,300. Wow. That's with the heater on high. We only get 16 minutes out of running it this way, but this is way beyond what this unit is capable of, supposedly, right? 1800 watts is what it's rated at with a surge of 2700, I think, if I recall correctly. But it's running the hot plates, as you can see they're on, and the heater, which again is on high. No problems didn't shut off still working so imagine if you had the additional batteries especially the the Delta max very impressive folks most units they get to where they're rated at they might have a small surge and we're sitting here talking and this thing is still kicking the fans are going you can feel the fans going what do we got there Oh, we got an error overload so we ran it there for several minutes before we got that overload protection. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And remember, folks, this is what we try to do. We try to get this thing to fail. It ran them almost 2,400 watts, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 600 watts over what it was supposed to run. The unit's pretty much back to normal, and we're all good to go. All right, so let's get back to me and talk a little bit about the Delta II. All right, folks, so that's kind of a little bit of an overview of the Delta II by EcoFlow. Uh, like I said, we looked at the specifications, we looked at the ports, and we did some testing. Uh, and it did very, very, very well compared to some of the other units I've reviewed in the past. Um, I'm very impressed with this, and to be honest with you, this is probably going to be taking the place of an older unit that I have running for the deep freeze uh, and the refrigerator that I have in the garage, those things are going to be, this is going to replace that uninterruptible, uninterruptible power supply uh, for this because I had that much value and trust into this unit. Also, I wanted to show you guys, you know, I'm going to put it up on the screen, but as you can see, the, the uh, app that you can get uh, kind of gives you a lot of information. It's a very smooth running app, very clean, uh, easy to use. Um, I like it. I put it on the screen, uh, let's say right about here. I think that's a good spot for it. Anyways, that being said, uh, you can see all the different things that you can do on the app and whatnot. And uh, it's very intriguing how much power you have over that using the app on your phone or just learning the device itself and how to cycle through all the projects or all the buttons and whatnot that you can do with this. To me, this is very capable uh, for an 1800 watt portable power station. Uh, it's a lot compact and a lot lighter though. I think this weighs in at about 27 pounds compared to some of the other ones that I have weigh about 50 pounds that only do about 1500 watts. That being said, uh, if you want to check this unit out uh, and uh, save a couple of bucks, there's a link down below. It'll say EcoFlow link. I'll also have a pinned comment for you to click on. Uh, you can check out the Delta II. Uh, they have a lot of other products there uh, from all their uh, EcoFlow products. EcoFlow is a very reputable company. All right, folks, so here's a question I like to ask you, my viewers. Do you out there own a portable power station? And if you do, what kind of portable power station is it? How effective is it? How do you use it for emergency preparedness? Uh, have you had to use it? Uh, and uh, how would you compare it to the Delta II? I would like to get your feedback on what you look for in a portable power station and what are your like uh, thought process when you're going in to make such a, you know, a uh, profound purchase like something like this to have for your home. Are you looking for things for just blackouts? Are you looking for things for off-grid capabilities? Are you looking for things for camping? And the list goes on. I'd love to hear from you. If you could put down in the comments, it'd be truly appreciated. Other than that, folks, remember, you are not alone. This is Gray Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys in a rebound, and God bless. Yeah.